So if you just look at lifespan or the average age of death, it's very difficult to increase lifespan by adding years onto someone's already maximum lifespan. If you take a bunch of people at 65 and you add three years to them, then you've only added three years of lifespan. And that's only if everyone in the population you are studying did it. The way you get dramatic changes in your average lifespan is by changing infant mortality. That's how it's always been, or changing the death of young people. And so if instead someone dying at two years old now lives to 70 years old, you've just added a whopping 68 years to the average lifespan statistic. The way to add lifespan is to reduce the number of young people dying. And that's how what's happened to our ancestors. You know, around 20% lived to a ripe old age, healthy, vibrant. The others died young for reasons that aren't solved by pills to treat chronic illness. They were eaten by a tiger. They broke a limb or two and they got severe infections and they died. They died of infections, trauma, and injuries. Not things today like diabetes, heart disease, stroke, and cancer. And so if you hear the argument that we are living so much longer now because of all the pills aimed at chronic illnesses, now you know the truth.